Amazon API Gateway usage plans limit API usage through the use of throttling, quotas, or a combination of both. Throttling allows a developer to limit usage to a certain number of requests per second and includes configuration for burst limits. For example, I create an API endpoint that throttles at 15 requests per second with a burst limit of 30. Quotas allow for a certain number of requests over a given period of time, like daily, weekly, or monthly increments. A second example is an API that only allows 50 requests per day. By combining these two examples, I create an API that only allows 15 requests per second with a burst limit of 30 and caps the number of requests to 50 over a 24-hour period. Usage plans are applied to specific stages on API Gateway REST APIs. However, developers can also apply throttling at the method level. These method level settings override the stage settings. Usage plans can be applied to multiple REST APIs within the same account and region. In the case of multiple APIs, the metering strategy is applied to the group as a whole. To tie a request to a specific usage plan, API Gateway uses API keys. API keys are generated from the API Gateway console, API, AWS CloudFormation, or the AWS CLI. The keys are unique alphanumeric strings given to clients to pass in the request header as x-api-key. These keys are associated with one or more usage planes. When a request comes in, API Gateway looks up the API key and applies the metering strategy defined in the associated usage plane. To create an endpoint with usage planes, follow these steps. 1. Create an API Gateway REST API, ensuring that it requires an API key on the metered endpoints. 2. Create a usage plan with the desired restrictions. Three. Create one or more API keys and associate them with the usage plan. Four, distribute the API keys to your clients. Please take note, usage plan throttling and quotas are not hard limits and are applied on a best effort basis. In some cases, clients can exceed the quota that you set. If more precision is required, consider AWS WAF to manage API requests.